my main sailing trip last summer in July was two weeks going from Grimsby down to the Thames Estuary and then up the Thames as far as Tower Bridge and back again. Uh, it was a great trip and with some good winds, uh, sunny weather, uh, one or two long days of motoring but otherwise uh, some great sailing. I'd been shown the potential anchorage at Hull Haven just on the west side of Canvey Island which is a great place to start uh, the trip up the Thames particularly for a small slower boat uh, and uh, so I got there the day before and then set off up the Thames. I'd done a lot of preparation for going up the river and in the end it was quite straightforward there wasn't so much traffic uh, and it all went very uneventfully and I actually had to slow down because I was going to get to St Catherine's Dock too early for the lock-in. So I set off about seven in the morning. Uh, unfortunately I had to motor most of the way. Um, there was there was some wind but with the river winding uh, so much it was difficult to keep uh, sailing for any length of time to make it worth having the sails up. So I ended up motoring. Surprising how rough it was, how choppy it was just below Tower Bridge where there's a lot of traffic and a lot of ribs taking people on thrill rides which set up standing waves across the river and uh, made it very uncomfortable waiting to lock in. Here I'd just arrived at Tower Bridge and had contacted the marina on the radio waiting for a slot to enter the lock. It was very hot during the time in London and so I had the boom tent up most of the time for shade. Had some good visits from friends and family uh, and had a great time staying there in London on the boat. We were lucky enough to see the Gloriana going out from the docks to head up river to a boat show. Then after a couple of days there I headed back down the river again uh, and again recorded most of the trip down. I got to Hull Haven to anchor at about nine o'clock in the evening and uh, inadvertently left the GoPro recording uh, all night and managed to capture this footage as I swung out to face the river as the tide was coming in just caught the moon rising it's rather jerky footage but quite fun you can see the green light there is the light on the end of the pier that sticks out into the creek. Next morning I set off at about seven back out of the Thames heading for Harwich. It was a long trip up to Harwich, about 48 miles, it took me 14 hours, uh, but had good winds, particularly towards the end where I had a nice reach up the coast past, uh, past Clacton and Walton on the Nays, uh, and came into Harwich in the evening onto Hapney Pier, and I had a night there, and then I went up to Ipswich for the day and came back to Pinmill and spent two nights on anchor there just chilling and visiting the pub and exploring the area and then my last passage was to up the Deben to Waldling Field
Just come to visit uh, Demon Bar. Somewhere about there, just near the Port Hanboy. So this is the section of the entrance where you're inside the big sandbar in between the Mid Knoll and Deben Boys and the starboard hand marks. And, uh, there's quite good depth here under the keel. And here's this is the rocks, uh, another landmark as you're going up and down this entrance. You can see the tide sweeping past the buoy there. And Just upstream from here it gets really quite deep, you go past the groins on the left hand side and then into the river proper. I'm moored there just on the left of the picture on a red buoy. Uh, I was just having a mug of tea and a bacon butty for breakfast and watching the ferry going back and forth, ferrying walkers and visitors uh, to the other side. I was on the Deben a couple of times over the summer and had a nice stop at uh, Ramsholt to visit the pub and I also did a walk up to the church, All Saints Church and ran back along the side of the river here, beautiful walking and uh, also went a bit further upstream and anchored at the rocks which is a popular anchorage, uh, interesting beach to explore for fossils and a beautiful sunset. At the end of September I was back at Waldring Field on the visitors mooring. Uh, on this misty morning I'd got all the sails down, boom off and uh, was ready for a lift out at the boatyard to get the boat back to Sheffield for the winter and more repairs and fettling in preparation for 2023 when I'm planning to do a circumnavigation of the UK. All going well. Bye for now.